Hello girls and boys and I've got a little Christmas story for you today. It's called Norman the Slug Who Saved Christmas and it's written and illustrated by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. Norman was very excited. It was Christmas Eve. His stocking was hung up and he'd even left a snack for Father Christmas's reindeer. Meanwhile, far above, Father Christmas sneezed. Oh, 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 choo. And without him knowing it, a sack fell from his sleigh. Down on the ground, Norman snuggled in his bed. I hope I've been a good slug, he said to himself. I hope Father Christmas comes. Yes, I have been a good slug, he decided. And he was just closing his eyes when... <gasps> Thwack! Gosh, thought Norman, I didn't know I'd been that good. Thanks, Father Christmas. Norman dived straight in. There was wrapping paper everywhere. But then he spotted something. What's that? He said. A label? The scooter is for Jess, he read. The ukulele is for... Hmm, I wonder who the ukulele could be for. And the football is for Susie. Oh no! Oh, what have I done, thought Norman. None of these presents are for me. Billy, Jess, Susie will wake up tomorrow and think that Father Christmas has forgotten all about them. I'd better get these presents to Wiggleton as fast as I can. But Wiggleton looked a very, very long way. How would Normal get all the presents there? Eve! He pushed over the sign. Fantastic! That'll do nicely, thought Norman. Then he set to work gathering all the things he needed. He was ever so busy. Ta-da! Now it was time to rewrap the presents. But how? Norman didn't have any sticky tape. But luckily, if there's one thing slugs don't need, it's sticky tape. With a slither and a slother, the presents were ready. Phew, said Norman. <gasps> Crush! Finally, they arrived at number 11 Slime Avenue. Uh, Norman, said the snail, how will you get... Um, you know, up to the chimney. I won't, Norman replied. I'm going to use the cat flap. He heaved and he pushed until the presents were safely through. Quick, Norman, cried the snails. The children, the children are coming. Norman needed to hide, but where? Where could he hide? Ta-da! Norman loved being a Christmas bauble and nobody would ever know that it's a slug had saved Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, girls and boys. Join me again soon for another story time.